welcome back to step two of the research project. In this installment, we're going to get to explore the sample topics related to our theme, which remembers breaking barriers in history, and do a little bit of research to kind of get an understanding of what we're interested in, and then we will actually go ahead and select the topic for our project. So I'm going to start off by clicking this link here that says Explore Sample Topics, and it's really better if you open it in its own link. So you can either click on the name again, or you can click on this little uh, square with the arrow. It's going to bring you to a Google Doc that talks about breaking barriers in history. It's the theme for this year's National History Day, and therefore the theme for our research project. What I want to emphasize about this is that we're going to be spending a lot of time working on this project. And even though it's going to be hard work, I truly want you to enjoy it. This is your chance to learn about a history topic of your choice. Don't waste it. So to kick things off, I have 20 different sample topics that you could pick from. 10 of them are under the category of US history, and 10 of them are under the category of world history. Taking a brief glance at these, there are probably some that you definitely recognize, like Barack Obama, the first African American president, and perhaps some that you've never heard of before, maybe Simone Bolivar, Breaking Barriers to Independence in Latin America. So what you're going to do is click on at least five of these. And for each one that you click on, it's going to link you to a Gale article. You're going to look through that article. You don't necessarily have to read it word for word, but kind of skim through it to get an understanding of what that topic is all about. And then you're going to take some notes on it on the back of your daily thought page. So I'm going to show you that digitally. Here it is right here but you're going to have it up in front of you and you're going to be typing things in. So you're going to fill out information for five different topics before making your final selection. So let's look at one together. If I go to this first article here, Jesse Owens, Overcoming Discrimination to Break World Records, I can click on this link. It'll open in a new tab on Kids Info Bits. So I'm going to look through and put down some information here about this topic into my uh, graphic organizer on my daily thought page. So where it says topic, I'm going to put his name, Jesse Owens, and then kind of put it again. Not all topics are about specific people, but this one is. So what, what did he do? Let's take a look. Certain moments in Olympic history remain alive no matter how much time has passed, as with athlete Jesse Owens, who set four records and received four gold medals at the Olympic Games in Berlin, Germany in 1936, thwarting the Nazis' desire to turn the Games into a demonstration of Germany's racial and ethnic superiority. So it gives me an idea of what happened. Broke world records at 1936 Olympic games. When we just said 1936. And where did this take place? Let's double check. I believe it was Berlin, Germany. That's right. Let's go back here. Now, if I read through the actual article, I can start to understand how he represents breaking a barrier. But I'm not going to spend all of the time doing that right now on this video. However, you should be able to read through this, figure out what it meant when he broke these world records and how it represented breaking a barrier. And then you would take a little bit of information and write it down here. And then finally, you're going to circle one of these to represent your interest level, like how badly would you like to or how much would you like to study this topic. So if you're really interested in it, you'll circle high. If you're kind of in the middle medium, and if you've decided, nah, this isn't the topic for me, you'll do low. And then continue on with four other topics from the list on the Google Doc. Okay. After you've finished filling this paper out completely, you're going to go back to Schoology and back to the Step 2 folder. And you're going to click right here, selecting a topic. And if I go to the preview mode, you'll see... This is how it'll look for you. You'll click Start New Attempt. You're going to tell me what your final choice is for your topic. So whichever of those ones that you took some notes on that you want to choose to be your topic for the project, go ahead and type it in there. 
tell me why you chose it, what was interesting about it, and then just give me like one or two things that you learned about your topic from the work that we did today. When you're finished with that, go ahead and click submit and you will be done with step two. Great work.